You know, Verdum, I actually trained with them early in my career, before I was ever in the UFC. Um, I trained with him a couple times, uh, probably a handful of times, something like that. Um, he's definitely somebody that I've always, uh, the first time I ever saw him fight was actually against Brandon Vera. People don't give him enough credit for this first stand up. Um, you know, it, it, uh, yeah, I mean, Jiu Jitsu was on point, obviously. He's one of the best in the world, so um, he was just, yeah, he was a tough guy. I think he said something to the effect of, he, we trained together before and he knows what happened. Uh, I would like to follow that up with a question to him, is ask him if, you've ever, if he's ever submitted me or not. Um, you know, I'd like to answer a question, question with a question on that one. Um, you know, we don't even have to go really into how I'm going to because both of us are two different fighters, you know. Um, he wants to say, I know how I went, he knows how I went too. That's what, that's training, you know what I mean? That has nothing to do with the fight. That, that was also, shoot, that was over four years ago. Look at me four years ago, and look at me now. You had hair. It was a little bit different. Much bigger beard. Much bigger beard, yeah. You know, um, so yeah, it was, we're talking about two different times. You know, if he wants to bring that up, like I'm the same athlete now that I was back then, that's only going to hurt him. I'll probably say I'm easily a couple years away from, from being anywhere close to, to my best. Every day I come in the gym, you know, somebody's showing me something new and, and I'm putting it to use. You know, I'm just, I just got with a, uh, within my last, within the last six months I've gotten with a new grappling coach, um, two of them, Ricky Lindell and Neil um, Lanson. And both of those guys together, it's, uh, it's scary what they're having me do now. Um, you know, coming out and, and fighting Barnett, the way that I did is one of the reasons because of my grappler, is because of my wrestling. Um, I wouldn't have been able to go out there with that confidence unless I was more than ready with my grappling and wrestling. Like before you came onto the scene, Guys weren't using that 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 elbow the way. It, does it? Do you do you think that that's true? Do you think you've sort of changed uh, the, the what people have to look out for in the cage now? Yeah, I hope I I hope at the end of my career I've changed more than just uh, introducing those elbows, you know. And because I, I know that other people have done it, but I, I was just on the biggest stage at the biggest point of my career at the time, um, and and showed the world that they work, you know. When you when you add technique and and um, you know, power, then you get unsuspecting knockouts, you know. Um, guys would hold a double leg there to rest a lot of times and not know, not thinking that anything bad was going to happen. But, you know, I showed people that you can, you can be an opportunist in the cage and, and when you see something, jump all over it. Um, you never know what can happen.